Hey, this is Warren Redlick. We're going to be less wrong. I've got an idea for a video I wanted to talk about. I've got some models on the spreadsheet about possible ways of looking at the year 2030 for Tesla. And I've got share prices as low as $100 a share, and I've got a share price as high as $30,000 a share. I want to take you through this analysis and see how you can see tremendous variability in what Tesla stock price will be in the next eight years. We're going to start up here with a simple model, the nightmare model, I call it. Tesla does not deliver on robo-taxi. There is no robo-taxi fleet. Tesla makes no money on robo-taxis, not on Tesla-owned robo-taxis, not on private robo-taxis. It's a zero for robo-taxis. Then nightmare scenario, Tesla only gets to 5 million vehicles delivered in 2030. I'm expecting 20 million vehicles in 2030. Tesla says their aim is 20 million vehicles in 2030. But let's suppose they fall short significantly and they end up with 5 million vehicles sold in 2030 and their gross profit falls per vehicle down to $6,000 a vehicle. That leads to gross vehicle profit of $30 billion. It's not nothing, but it's not that much. Energy storage, they reach 300 gigawatt hours sold. Target is 1.5 terawatt hours or 1500 gigawatt hours. Suppose they massively underperform on delivering energy storage. Their profit per gigawatt hour that's $100 a kilowatt hour works out to $100 million a gigawatt hour, and you end up with $30 billion in gross profit there. You end up with $60 billion in total gross profit. If net profit is two-thirds, I think this is optimistic, but if net profit is two-thirds of gross profit, you end up with $40 billion in net profit. If the price earnings ratio is 10, Tesla has not demonstrated the growth we all hope for. It's a normal company. A price earnings ratio of 10 might be appropriate. You end up with a market cap of $400 billion. You have ballpark 4 billion shares in this particular version. I've, I've allowed for more shares to be created. So the float is larger and you end up with a $100 share price. So this is the nightmare scenario. If everything goes wrong, they fail to deliver RoboTaxi. There was no bots either. They didn't deliver bots either in this model. You end up with a pathetic $100 share price. So Buying Tesla stock today at around $200 a share, you're going to lose 50% over the next eight years if this nightmare scenario is true. I don't think this nightmare scenario is true. I don't think this is what's going to happen. But just to give you a sense of the wide range of things that can happen, here's a scenario that I don't like, but it certainly could happen. Let's look at another scenario. I'm calling this the base case. This is things don't go spectacularly well, but they go pretty well. So you end up with a robo taxi fleet of a million vehicles. That's, this is a Tesla-owned robo-taxi fleet, and each Tesla-owned robo-taxi in this model makes $50,000 a year in gross profit for Tesla. So there's $50 billion in gross profit for Tesla just on that robo-taxi fleet of a million vehicles. There's also a million private robo-taxi vehicles. I own a Model 3 from 2018. When the robo-taxi fleet goes live, I'm putting my, my, my vehicle out there as a robo-taxi. The robo-taxi vehicles are going to generate less profit for Tesla. I called it $15,000 gross profit for Tesla as opposed to $50,000. That might even be a little bit optimistic. It doesn't matter a whole lot. You end up with private gross profit from the private robo-taxis of $15 billion or a total robo-taxi gross profit of $65 billion. Then vehicles sold. I said, okay, they don't reach 20 million vehicles sold. They reach 12 million vehicles sold. Well short of the goal, way ahead of the 5 million in the previous version. Gross profit is now $10,000 a vehicle. This is trying to be a little bit more optimistic about Tesla's future. And the gross vehicle profit adds up to $120 billion. So you can see the robo-taxi model when there's only a million robo-taxis Tesla owned and a million private doesn't add up to that much. You could juice the numbers and say there's higher gross profit for vehicle, but anyway, it's just not that much. The, the vehicle sales ends up being more valuable in this model. Energy storage, I've got 750 gigawatt hours uh, delivered instead of the 1,500 gigawatt hours that Tesla said they're shooting for. I've got profit per gigawatt hour at $200 million per gigawatt hour, which is $200 a kilowatt hour. Right now, Tesla's selling Megapack at about $500 a kilowatt hour, and there's reasonable theories that their gross margins in long term will be 50% or higher. This would be 40% gross margin on the current pricing. Powerwall actually, I believe, has higher uh, price per kilowatt hour and potential higher profit margin per per unit, especially when you include solar um, in the calculation. So the gross profit on storage, that works out to $150 billion, which is more than the gross vehicle profit. That's pretty substantial. And then bots, I, I add in some level of bots, a million bots are sold. Gross uh, rep profit per bot is $10,000. 
you end up with $10 billion in gross profit from bot. You get a total gross profit of $345 billion. If it's two thirds net, again, I think I'm being charitable here. You could probably knock this down to $200 billion in, in net profit and give it a price earnings ratio of 25 now because it's growing at a fairly substantial rate at this point. And you end up with a market cap close to $6 trillion. 3.5 billion shares I did this time instead of 4 billion shares. And you end up with a, a share price of over $1,600 a share. So that's an 8x compared to the current share price of 200. 8 or 9x compared to the current share price. So that's a more optimistic scenario. But to me, this is still not very optimistic. We're, the robo-taxi fleet is small. The vehicles delivered aren't as high. The energy storage delivered is not as high. And you still end up with a $1,600 share price. I like that kind of growth in eight years. 8x in eight years is a pretty good number. But let's look at the crazy optimist scenario. So this is Warren's crazy optimistic scenario. You've got 10 million robo-taxis in Tesla's own robo-taxi fleet, making $60,000 gross profit per vehicle. You get $600 billion in gross profit just on the Tesla-owned robo-taxis. Throw in another 10 million privately run robo-taxis, generating $20,000 in gross profit for Tesla. More profit for the owners, but $20,000 in gross profit for Tesla. You get another $200 billion dollars in gross profit for Tesla there for a total robo-taxi gross profit of $800 billion. This is why robo-taxi matters so much. Robo-taxi generates insane profit. Then I threw in for energy storage. We get to the 1.5 terawatt hours or 1,500 gigawatt hours, giving them a $300 a kilowatt hour in profit on energy storage. Probably too optimistic here, but you end up with $450 billion in gross profit from storage. I've left out solar, by the way, and I've left out solar because every way I did the calculation, solar just doesn't add up to that much of a significant number. The numbers are trivial, so it's not worth going through. And then I added 20 million bots at $50,000 gross profit a bot. You get another trillion dollars in gross profit. Bot can be very, very profitable if you end up with favorable numbers. If you're making a lot of money on bot and you're selling a lot of them, it goes crazy. And I think 20 million bots is just the start. You can go to 100 million bots. That's, you know, uh, this is this is nuts. This number is nuts. This this is more than the robo-taxi number. You end up with a total gross profit of $2.65 trillion. $2.65 trillion in gross profit. Bot really matters. Net at $1.8 trillion. And again, I'm probably being kind on the two-thirds of total gross profit. A PE ratio of 50 because we're growing like crazy if we're doing these numbers. And you end up with a market cap of $88 trillion. Assuming there's 3 billion shares, which I think there's already more than 3 billion shares, so this isn't fair, but you end up with $29,000 share price and nearly $30,000 share price, which is a really, really nice jump from $200 a share. That's 150x. So I would say we're probably somewhere closer to the base case, probably better than the base case. 2030 will probably be maybe $5,000 a share. The $30,000 a share is overly optimistic, but Go out a few years when bot really goes into volume, when robo-taxi really goes into volume. And robo-taxi can get a lot bigger. There's plenty of room in the, mar in the global marketplace for 100 million robo-taxis. And even if you cut the gross profit per robo-taxi by half, or even you know a third, you may cut it to a third, but you 10x the number of vehicles, you're 3xing or 4xing the amount of profit. Or 5xing the amount of gross profit. So robo-taxi goes nuts. You could see bot going to 100 million units. Uh, the, the numbers can get even crazier if you go nuts. And that's probably out to the mid 2030s or 2040. Energy storage could get bigger too. There's all kinds of ways. So you can see, I think that it's reasonable to say Tesla is going to weigh more than 10x by 2030. 20x is certainly attainable and 50x is not real. You know, this number looks crazy, but when you go through the analysis, none of that is really that crazy. And, you know, especially if you push it out to 2032 or 2035, you could see these numbers happening. But even in 2030, this is attainable, unlikely, but attainable. So $5,000 a share, reasonable. $10,000, not crazy. $2,000 seems likely. $2,000 a share, a 10x from where we are today seems likely. This is why I'm so bullish. This is why I'm this, the mega bull, ultra bull, hyper bull, whatever you want to call me. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I'd like to be less wrong. The t-shirts are at elonbits.com. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. Please support me on the Locals platform, The Daily Lie. Support me on Patreon. Please support me as a YouTube channel member. Check out my other videos. Like this video, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.